going into Home Depot to get the paint for the RV. Hey guys, thanks for watching. In this video, you'll see us repaint the inside of the RV. And I'll go ahead and get, explain a little bit about why things didn't go exactly as planned. Not being able to buy the ceiling paint at an actual store was really frustrating, but we had to just quickly recover and get over that and go ahead and uh, continue because of my work schedule. We had to make sure that we were being as productive as possible and getting as much done as possible whenever we could. Uh, so we quickly switched gears and just got some painting supplies and got to work on painting the inside of the RV. And as I'll explain shortly, it's a really good thing that we did use our time wisely because we ended up hitting quite a few road bumps uh, in this process of repainting the RV and trying to get all our little renovations done. So, as you can see, I am taping everything up here so that I can go ahead and uh, prime uh, the walls tomorrow with some white primer. We're going to get started on that tomorrow morning and that way we can get all of these walls a, a better color. We haven't decided what color we're going to paint the walls yet but we know that it's not going to be this and the primer is definitely where we need to start. So as you can see I haven't done much so far. I kind of just started taping up a few minutes ago. Let's see if we can get the white better here. Yeah, As you can see I'm just kind of doing a rough taping around everything. And we were going to do the ceiling, because um, as you can probably see, or as you may have seen in the first video, there is some minor water damage from some old leaks. Um, there isn't any mold or mildew, uh, just some minor water damage, but definitely caused some staining. And so we actually found this paint that is for fabric and vinyl, and uh, so we're going to use that. To paint the seat we're gonna paint the entire ceiling but unfortunately it's an online only product so we have to wait for that to get here so that was the project that we were planning on doing today kind of went south a little bit so now I'm taping up so that we can prime the whole thing tomorrow okay good morning everyone so as you can see I'm getting a bit more taping done right now so that I can prime everything uh, I got the table all wrapped got that whole area up there done. Now I have this whole section over here taped up, uh, this whole section by the door over here. I'm still working on this little tiny area right here. It's going to be a pain in the ass. And now I'm working on this whole section over here because this is actually the dirtiest part of the wall and the part of the wall that has the most nail holes in it. So we're going to probably have to spackle over some of those before we go ahead and prime that. But anyway, this is the progress I have so far. Hopefully by the end of the day, we will have a good amount of priming done. So here's the dinette area. Uh, we've taped up a lot. We've pretty much painted the entire upper area of the dinette. Uh, I'm going to paint the window frame the same color that I painted the wall because uh, we made that decision after we had already painted. Um, and then over here is being primed. Uh, we're priming this entire area. It's going to be painted a different color than the Dyna area. I'm not going to give that away. Um, we'll just show you once we're done. Uh, and you can see that this area over here, which did also have the really ugly wallpaper before, is now the same color as the dinette. It's called Marshmallow. Um, we had a color, we had some colors before um, that were different than the ones that we have now because our, something happened to our paint when it was in the garage over the winter. Not exactly sure what, but we got to choose all new paint colors, which was really fun. And so now we have this nice marshmallow color. Sorry about the darkness. I'm trying to get it to adjust. Anyway, so that's the painting that we've done so far. So we're getting a lot more taped up so that we can, like I said, get this whole area over here all painted. Oh, and we painted this door, the bathroom door. Um, it's called Black Fox. And... We both really like the color of that one. 
and it actually turned out really well. We did a we we started out doing a coat of primer, and then we did, we were trying to decide whether or not we needed to do primer on the wood because the paint does actually have primer in it. Um, but what we discovered is that it's not very good at sticking to the wood on the first coat. So if we do a coat of primer, then the second coat Can looks amazing. Color. We didn't even really need to do a full second coat on this door here. We just touched it up a bit in a few places, but that's really only one coat, one full coat of the Black Fox, which was, by the way, a little sample of the paint that we're using, which is the HGTV Home Paint by Sherwin-Williams. And it, I'll show you here, these little samples here um, are three dollars each. So if you have a small project, don't bother buying a quart because you can just get a, a small sample, and we have we still have more than enough left to do something else if we want to. So this is the progress so far in the living room. Got almost everything done except a few touch-ups on the marshmallow white and on the copan blue from where I was painting today. Um, we got this area over here taken care of as well, including uh, outlining the mirror there. And then over on this side, you can see this cap this cabinet is done. And then the cabinets down below are almost done. We just need to touch up that one uh, once the teal paint has dried. And then finish the framboise, which is the purple color, on the inner part of that door down there. Uh, then if you see down here, we also got this part all done. Uh, they're still drying a little bit, which is why I haven't pulled the tape off, but that should look nice once it's done. The only th other thing we took care of today was uh, we got the bathroom all primed up. When I say we, I do not mean me. I did not have anything to do with this, so no credit should be given to me for that. But got all that taken care of, so now we can get that painted tomorrow. I'm just checking everything out up here, making sure that we are good to go. There's nothing that needs to be fixed. Looks good, just for safety reasons, just patched a couple things on the roof, even though they looked fine. I'm over paranoid, but that's okay. So this is the view. Looks like we're about to have a storm here, which is awesome, because we're trying to get a lot of work done. So this is the bedroom, uh, now that we've painted it. You can see we used the uh, indigo batik, which is a dark blue purple color on the outlining of the cabinets. And then on the, for just the actual cabinets themselves, we used um, a white raisin, which is a, a yellowish color. And then the walls are a sand beach, which is a kind of a tan, tannish yellow. I apologize for the lighting. Uh, the lighting in here kind of sucks right now because it's very bright outside. Now that we are going in on the road, I will be posting videos weekly. Uh, my next video will be a travel vlog about our journey from Colorado to New York. And then the video after that will most likely be a video about uh, both the renovations and our trip across, across the country and why those two things uh, went so differently than we had planned. Uh, we had a lot of things happen uh, along the way, so I'll go ahead and just explain all those things. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed the video.